Welcome to Milk on Tap 2023 edition, Woo! episode one. We did it. Van the Milkman McNeil, alongside Fireman Jim Ranelli. And Skipper Barone is here. He's in town. Congratulations on the contract extension, Coach. Great to see you. Yes, locked into 2028 and beyond. We're hoping a big extension. It's great news for (laughs) Milwaukee Milkman and the fans to have Barone back for that much longer. Great season last year. Inches away from that championship, but Eastern Division champions. Yeah. Nonetheless, a great one to that final five. And uh, didn't turn out the way we wanted, but still a great season all around. Yeah, excited to be here for the next five years and really... It's like a family here, um, and we've developed such a great organization and really excited for the future. And last year didn't end the way we wanted it to, but, I mean, Close. there was a lot of other teams that would have loved to been oh. playing in Game 5 in the championship series, and we had a really good run at it. I mean, I think that says a lot about, you know, past two, three years and what we've yeah. been building, a nice foundation and the camaraderie of the team, and it yeah. continues to grow. Yeah, the foundation's all set. Uh, now it's just continued continued excellence is sort of the way I think of it. Oh, and. Yeah. Uh, just continue what we've built. And as a couple of our veteran guys step out of the picture, i.e. Chris Conley a Logan Trowbridge, we have some young guys that are yeah, coming into that yeah, role. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's sort of a new generation mm-hmm. of guys now. And, uh, you know, since our 2020 championship, it's, you know, Logan, Chris, Miles Smith. Oh, that's right. You know, it's, been, it's been a group of guys that have really meant a lot to the, the organization. So now it's, it's time for new guys to step into those those leadership roles and, and continue what we've what we built. So I would imagine nothing is going on right now in this very early preseason. We don't get going until May, right? Yeah, nothing. Just a lot of <laughs> lot of player oh, oh, player acquisitions yeah, and procurement, you know, and whatnot. procurement yep. negotiating, returning contracts, uh, and just sort of setting up training camp and getting our, getting ready for. You know, yeah, what we, we got some exhibition do. games on the yeah. docket for early yeah. May, and then May 16th, less than two months away from opening day right here at Franklin Field. We get going, and uh, I'm sure you guys are ready to go. Yeah, we're excited. Uh, May 3rd, we kick off spring training. Um, we have exhibition. We have four, I think, scheduled right now here at Franklin Field, and uh, we open up May 12th on the road at a Conwa, right. a Lake Country, yep. and then May 16th, May 16th the home right opener. right here at home, and... Uh, you know, we are broadcasting right now live from the newest addition to the Ballpark Commons. Here at the Doghouse. Here at the Doghouse in the shadows of Franklin Field. You can stop here before the game if you'd like. Go to the game, come back here. A beautiful location right here in, at Ballpark Commons. A wide selection of craft beers, a variety of sausages. There's always something going on here. A big St. Patrick's Day shenanigans that'll be going on mm-hmm. too. Exactly. So another place they visit right here at Ballpark Commons before you hit a Milkman game. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So while Skip Barone takes care of things on the field, Jim and I, Woo. we've got our big entertainment reveal, the big schedule, oh. all the games you're not going to want to miss. Boom, there it is on the screen. Look at all these things going on here at Franklin Field this year. A great a time to be had by families of all ages. Fireworks Fridays, eight of them. Eight Thirsty Thursdays with dollar beer. Oh my goodness. Hot off the presses, those Thirsty Thursdays. I'm you know, looking forward to those as well. A total of 22 different celebration games. We got Fireworks Fridays. Lacheros. Skip is wearing the Lacheros hat here Bring today. Back for this year. We had a great time with them last year. Three different back. games celebrating Chihuahuas, celebrating L- uh, Lucha Libre wrestling. Lucha Libre. We got so much fun going this year. Fun. Candy Drop coming back. Candy Drop is coming back, as you can see. Yes, it is, and that's one of our fan favorites right there, the Candy Drop. I think we have two of them this year. We do. You can find out even more at MilwaukeeMilkmen.com. Hawaiian night there, Jim? My goodness. Western Days, looking forward to that one as well. Hey, reviving <laughs> Western Days, <laughs> but here back. in Franklin. West Dallas didn't want anymore, we're taking We it. got it here in Franklin. <laughs> so you can find out the entire Entertainment schedule, what you're looking at right there, all the info, all the ticket information, group ticket sales, all that info. MilwaukeeMilkmen.com. Yes, tickets are on sale right now for all these events. And, of course, Savannah Bananas at the end of the year. Yeah, and if you've never been, we continue to grow. The addition of the doghouse. Rock League Baseball, which is one of the biggest uh, uh, conglomerate of players in the nation. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming back to this season. We're, We're getting ready to rock and roll. Rock is opening soon with the milkman. Yeah, from Lux Golf Base to the Mosh Performance Center, lots going on, and we're still growing. ROCventures.org. Skip, before we get out of here today, yeah. any last word? Oh, really excited for the season. Uh, best fan base in the American Association, so we're really looking forward to uh, you know, providing another exciting season and continuing what we built. Uh, 
you come out to the ballpark, you always see great baseball, great entertainment, great food, great drinks. And then not only the baseball part of it, but everything else that goes on here. Right. It's a great, great entertainment environment. For oh, you know what, what I if forget? I want to come work with you guys. What oh. do I do? <laughs> Job fairs are a plenty. Like I said, ROC Ventures. Dot org. Oh, always looking for a lefty BP guy. I was going to bring up, you know, I mentioned all of these great facilities on our campus, but the most important one I forgot is where we go post game. The Umbrella Bar. The Umbrella Bar <laughs> opening soon as well. This yes. place is coming alive. Spring is in the air. ROCVentures.org. The entertainment schedule. Take a look at the roster and how things are shaping up. MilwaukeeMilkmen.com. All right, Van, I'm loving this, seeing the team skip back in town. Give me that feeling baseball's in the air. Almost time, Jimmy. More milk on taps on the way, right? That is right. All right. Let's Fire go, Milkman. Van and coach Skipper Anthony Brown. <laughs>